All right, Oscar. How much longer is this going to go on? Are you talking to me? That's right, I'm talking to you. Well, what do you want to know? I want to know if you're going to spend the rest of your life not talking to me. Because if you are, I'm going to buy a radio. Well, I'm sure you're not going to talk to me. Okay, two could uh, play at this game. If you're not going to talk to me, I'm not going to talk to you. I can have Charlie too, you know. I can go on without talking just as long as you can. And why the hell are you shut up? Are you talking to me? You had the chance to talk last night. From now on, I never want to hear a word from a cheerful head of yours as long as you live. That's a warning, Felix. I stand warned. Over and out. There's the key to the back door. If you stick to the hallway and your room, you won't get hurt. I don't think I gathered the entire meaning of that, Mark, and I'll explain it to you. Stay out of my way. I think you're serious. I think you're really serious. Are you serious? This is my apartment. Everything here is mine. The only thing that's here that's yours is you. So speak softly. Stay in your room. Yeah, you're serious. Well, let me remind you that I pay half the rent and I can go into any room I want. Where you going? I'm going to walk into your bed. Stay out of there. Go tell me where you go. I pay four hundred dollars a month. That was the off season. Starting tomorrow, rates are fifty dollars a day. Okay. There you are. I paid us for today. Now I'm going to walk into your bed. Stay out of there. Stay out of my room. Keep away from me, Oscar. Just keep away. I'm warning you. You want to live here? I don't want to hear you. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see. I don't want to smell your cooking. Now get that spaghetti off my pocket. <laughs> what the hell is so funny? That's not spaghetti. It's a green. Your chest beside your chin. You better get it off. All right, I want you. 
You're a wonderful guy, Oscar. You've done everything for me. If it weren't for you, I don't know what would have happened to me. You took me in and gave me a place to live and something to live for. I'll never forget you for that. You're tops with me, Oscar. But I've just been told off. I think I may have missed it. It's coming now. You're also one of the biggest swamps in the world. I see. And completely unreliable, right? undependable, finished, and completely irresponsible. You're gone. I think you're hot. No, that's it. You've just been told off. How do you like that? Good. Well, now I'm going to tell you all. Six months, I've lived in this apartment. All alone. I was rejected. This is fun. Disgusting. They knew me. My dearest and closest friend. I have three weeks of close personal contact. I'm about to have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Do me a bad <laughs> Move into the kitchen. With your pot, your pans, your plate, your meat, the money. When you want to come out, ring a bell. I'll run into my room. I'm asking you nicely, Felix. As a friend, stay out of my way. Walk on the pavement, it's you the floor's wet. Watch yourself, Oscar, just watch yourself. Let me get this one to shut. You pick it, and kidney to stop it. You're gonna find yourself for what's being lost. No, you just run in, Felix. You're only a group, and I know all the shortcuts. Is this how you sell your problems? Like an animal? You wanna see how I sell my problems? I'll show you how I sell my problems. Where are you going? Not me, you idiot. You don't know what is going on. What you are up here now, tonight. Can we actually move out? I mean, actually, physically, for me. I don't care where you go, Felix. You can move into the Museum of Natural History. I'm sure you'd be very comfortable there. You can dust around the Egyptian mummy so your heart's content. But I'm a human living person. So all I want is my freedom. Is that too much to ask for? Feel it, don't leave! Feel it! 